The recent death of a press TV journalist on the Turkish-Syrian border has sparked concerns over the suspicious, suspicious circumstances of the car crash in which she died. Live now to RT's Paula Sleer to give us some of the details. So tell us, Paula, about uh, what is strange here about that death. Well, there are calls for an open and transparent investigation into the death of the press TV reporter Serena Shim to be conducted. The Iranian broadcaster for which she worked says it does not accept that this was an accident. It happened on Friday when Serena was traveling back to her hotel. She was a passenger in a car that was involved in a collision with a truck. Now, the identity of the truck driver and his whereabouts are still unknown. On Friday, Serena appeared in a broadcast on press TV in in which she said that she had been threatened and she had been accused by the Turkish intelligence. She said, and she admitted as such, that she was a bit afraid. She was afraid that she would be arrested. She also, of course, denied the accusations. Serena suggested that this followed a series of reports she had conducted that pointed to ISIS fighters moving across the Turkish border into Syria. She said that she had were in World Health Organization and other NGO trucks. Now, Serena also referenced a report by the media watchdog Reporters Without Borders that claimed that Turkey was the largest prison of journalists. Now, of course, an investigation still needs to be conducted, but what has happened to Serena certainly sends out an ominous message to journalists who are covering the story. Right, Artis Paulus Lear, live for us on the Syria Turkish border. Thank you very much for that update. Stay safe out there.